hasn't sent a text or snuggled up and watched a movie on our tablet while lying in bed? Well, if you have trouble falling asleep at night, you may have your smartphone or your tablet to blame. Dr. Patel, a board-certified sleep specialist, explains more. Yeah, I mean, all the smartphones, tablets, laptops, computers, TVs, all those things promote the brain to want to stay more active, right? So it's a, you kind of self-condition yourself by using these tools and these, this technology to be more alert. There is, I guess, a new form of insomnia that's starting to develop, at least in the literature, where it's more developed based upon our exposure to the electronics and the light because it's the blue wavelength of light from the sun that actually activates us and makes us feel awake during the day. From all the smartphones and tablets, the color screens also emit the blue wavelength of light. So that in itself also actually promotes the brain to release the neurotransmitters that make us feel awake. So that's why all of this stuff can promote the brain to not want to go to sleep. Rather than coaching the brain to look at the bed and viewing it as a place to sleep and rest, you've kind of coached your brain to look at the bed as another place to be active. You know, don't eat or drink any kind of liquid within two hours of bedtime. You know, don't smoke within two hours of bedtime. No alcohol within two hours of bedtime. No activities of, you know, like smartphone, tablets, watching TV. None of that stuff should be done in the bedroom. I mean, I've had patients in the past that have kind of titled their bedroom as their sort of command center where they'll work, they eat, they do everything in bed. Well, in that situation, the brain can't differentiate the bed as a place to rest because the person's always there doing active things, right? So that in itself can not fool the brain per se, but you condition the brain to not realize that this is a place to sleep. It's kind of become synonymous as the living room or the sofa. If you're someone that's having a difficult time falling asleep, uh, you're just finding, just finding yourself just laying there wide awake thinking, then one of the first steps to look at is look at your own behaviors before you go to sleep, you know? What are you doing? Are you watching TV in bed? Are you reading on your smartphone? Or are you eating too close to bedtime? Are you exercising too close to bedtime? Those are all things that we would title as sort of elements of sleep hygiene. That would be the first step that you yourself could easily take a look at, address, and make corrections to see if that helps to foster better sleep.